Yeah. Uh, Delburn actually is in central Alberta. We're half an hour east of Red Deer and Red Deer is basically right in between Edmonton and Calgary. So my job is I work with FCSS as a community worker. What is FDSS? FCSS is uh, Family Community Support Services. Okay. Their mandate is preventative social services. Um, two years ago I came to the CCI here at Tamarack and they had the uh, learning around collective impact and I saw that and I was just that is fantastic and it's for me I could see it being applied beyond the social sector. That is just good, a good model to get everyone to the table to move forward on complex issues. At that uh, CCI, I happened to be sitting at a breakfast table with Derek Alton, who just got hired by the Thousand Conversations campaign, and as well um, with John Beebe, who is an internationally exhibited photographer. And it was just one of those quirky things that ended up happening. John showed me some of his photos, and I was blown away, because you literally could see the people's soul right there in the picture. And then I was looking at that Thousand Conversations tool, and I'm our centennial was coming up in our village and I was like, I'd really like to pair those two elements together and have a fantastic centennial project. So I could capture what our local historians think about community and get amazing portraits of these people who aren't going to be with us forever. But, so the centennial came and went and it got so busy, went really well. Um, but I did use Paul Bourne's advice to, and I secured some funding to send eight key kind of door openers to the 2013 CCI. Because I knew that me, as a standalone in my little village, wasn't enough to make change. We needed, I needed a group on the ground that had that collective understanding. So that happened. And then our uh, municipal election happened. And the, the village council was wanting to rebuild relationships. So I was looking at that thousand conversations model. I'm like, maybe village council can roll that out as a way to re-engage with citizenship. But nicely, Rachel pointed out, no, Nora, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Just because people may not feel comfortable giving their true candid opinion about change in front of government. Because you really need that neutral environment where it's uh, everyone's equal and open for that true, honest conversation to come forth. So then, wonderfully, uh, Tamarack offered us one of their partnerships in the Thousand Conversations campaign. And then things have rolled out from there. Uh, in that process, we have engaged over 400 people. And that's probably, our village is only 830. So we're darn near half. I mean, we have a rural constituency that goes beyond. But in this process, I also kept John Beebe because I really wanted to keep the art element because I wanted to take a look at um, using art to foster compassion. I went to a workshop at the 2013 CCI that Mark Kabaj put on and he was talking about looking at root causes. So when he said, when you look at an event, it is just one of many that occurs throughout the system. And there are systems and patterns that, patterns that underlie that event. But what forms the systems and patterns is just the way we think. Like we create our own systems and patterns. But at the bottom of the systems and the way we think is our biases. So our biases form our thinking and I wanted to start looking at the bottom up. And the nice thing about biases, when I looked at that, biases aren't intellectual. They live in your heart. Mm. So if you can start working on a tool that works at that heart level to shift the system from the bottom up, and that's why I really wanted to add the art element in around belonging and explore. I, I oh, because, okay, the beautiful thing about putting the art element in the thousand conversations is we got a lot of also concrete data. And then it was very grassroots. We kept it grassroots intentionally. Yeah. The community voted on the themes and patterns that came out and the initiatives that they want to move forward. So those initiatives are now over a long haul. Hmm. So then when I looked at the asset-based community development yesterday, that is a tool that I'm like, hmm, how do I fit that in? Because I have the point we're at right now, I do, there's no database that exists saying, I, uh, these people have these skills, these gifts that they want to give, and then tie it into the initiatives that we have. So that's one aspect that's come out. And then nicely enough, I got a uh, talk with Peter of Axiom News and he's super excited about tying into this project and using that generative um, journalism wow. in a way too. I know! Wow. So we have a whole bunch of partners coming on board and I'm really, uh, do we know where we're going? Probably no, but that's why we're opening it up and saying, you know what, we're open to having any tool that's coming to help. Yeah, and now that we have, and it's once since we've got it off the ground, it's about maintaining that. Maintaining the momentum and keep strengthening and deepening the connections.